Hey guys, you know every once in a while a budget resin 3D printer comes along that just really surprises the heck out of me. I mean, check out the quality of these miniatures. I was completely blown away. So you want to learn a little bit more about this guy back here? All right, Mr. 3D Print Farm Man, enough talk. Let's do this. So if you're an avid 3D printer and you've never heard the name Creality, then, then you're probably still using AOL and dial-up. In fact, the Ender 3 is probably one of the most iconic FDM 3D printers on the market today because of its versatility, reliability, and modability. Yes, I just made up that word, modability. I mean, check out all the mods on this thing. I mean, it's got direct drive, I've got BL Touch, I've got the wham bam, thank you ma'am. Uh, you know, there's so many items out here, I really don't even know what all of them do, but hey, it prints great, so you know. <laughs> so enter the Creality LD002R. You know, I have, tried and tried to like this name. I mean, why couldn't they have named it something exciting like the Frozen Sonic Mini, or Mars, or the Saturn, or even Ender. I mean, Ender has a ring to it, but please name this something that we can all get our hands around. <sighs> but with that being said, I was really shocked that this printer actually worked so well. At 6.3 kilograms, or 14 pounds, this is a hefty little beast. In fact, there's no plastic on here, with the exception of the plastic hood. This is all metal, all the way around, as you can see, and I am trying my best to show this. Oh, look at this! Isn't this interesting back here? And this is one of the first things that I noticed, is it doesn't use one of those silly power adapter cords that you have to search around to find out if it plugs into your printer correctly. It uses a cord just like this, that I'm sure you have, like, a dozen of these laying around the house. What I really love about this printer is the power button is, check this out, it's right in front. Ooh, nice glue. Why am, why am I looking, why am I looking orange? Uh, the power button is located, don't look at me, the power button is located right up front instead of in the back. In fact, even on this printer I find myself reaching around the back looking for the power switch when it's just right up here, which is very convenient. The USB port is on the side, right here, down below. And, you know, I've come to realize that I like the USB ports on the side instead of the front. And that's because when you're pulling the resin vat out, you don't dribble any, uh, in fact, if your USB, if your USB stick is plugged in, you don't dribble any resin on it. So I find that having it on the side is handy dandy. Check this out, two screws, takes this plate out and it allows you to get to all the electronics so when you want to change out the LCD, it's a snap. Two screws, take it out. Again, this thing is solid metal all the way around. No plastic other than the, other than the top. Speaking of the top, I really like the plastic top. It is super duper thick as you can see. It is, it is very heavy duty. It's not, you can see it, I can, I'm trying to compress it with my hands. It is not as compressible. Uh, yeah, you can tell that they actually put a lot of thought into the quality of this plastic top. What I really love about resin printing now is that these manufacturers have really started to listen to their users and take feedback and start making improvements to some of the items that we've asked for. One of the things that I really like about this particular vat is the the screws are, they're captive, you cannot remove them, but if you can see here in the light, check this out. There's the little graduated notches that are in this, this is a metal vat, there's little graduated notches to kind of give you an idea of how much resin to put in here. This is a big deal because a lot of the vats before, it usually was just kind of a small indention that you really couldn't see. You're trying to pour your resin, you end up overfilling it, the build plate goes down in, bloop, all the resin comes out, spills on your LCD, makes a mess. That's not good. But I really like this. This is really, really cool. Another thing about this is that it actually fits down. There's actually a recess in the printer 
So it fits in nicely, so there's no guesswork. So if you're kind of worried about those captive screws and not being able to line them up correctly, just slip the vat in here, and there's, like I said, there's a nice recessed uh, area in the metal that you can just slip the vat down into and whoop, tighten up your bolts. And there you go. It, the FEP is up close and personal with the LCD to allow you to get perfect prints. And check out the sexy linear rail back there. Yes, that is a linear rail, my friends, and it is rock solid, and it actually works very well. In fact, in the back there, you see there is a, well, it looks like some type of a fan. You can remove four bolts back there. There's a, I believe there's a carbon filter under there to kind of filter out some of the smell, but I have been using Sriatec Fast Gray, and Sriatec typically has very little to no odor, so, you know, these build plates are leveled at the factory. And that's all fine and good. And you know, I tested it and it actually was leveled. But of course, me being the person I am, I feel like that I had to level it myself. This actually levels very similar to the Frozen Sonic Mini. So basically you have four bolts, four bolts. You have four bolts on the side here, on either side of the, let me just remove this. Okay, so you have four bolts on the side of the build plate. You loosen those four bolts and you have a little side to side loosey goosey action there. And you basically just click home, build plate lowers, level out your build plate, tighten four bolts, done. That's how you level this thing. It's awesome. And again, I checked it and yes, it was leveled at the factory, which is kind of cool. And it comes with the obligatory pack of stuff, like your gloves, your mask, and your paint filters. You know, it comes with a couple masks, and paint filters, comes with a little, looks like a brush here, like a little chip brush. You can brush your prints off uh, when they're dumped down into your cleaning solution. Uh, there's a plastic scraper, there's a metal scraper. Again, all the parts that you normally see in a printer are in this handy dandy little Ziploc bag. So how does this thing print? I'll let you be the judge. Check these out. So the final question is, is how much does this beast cost? Well, again, there are a lot of great resin printers out there that I highly recommend. I love the Elgu Mars, I love the Frozen Sonic Mini, the Elgu Saturn, if you're looking for a mid-size resin printer, this is the best time, folks, to get into resin printing because there are so many options out there. In fact, the Creality LD002R really surprised me in, in the realm of budget resin printers. You can pick this thing up for around $200 on Amazon. Seriously, if you're wanting to get into resin printing, this is a great starter printer. In fact, if you have been resin printing and you're using the Mars or using the, you're using the Mars or using the Sonic Mini and you wanna give this one a try, for 200 bucks, you cannot beat the price. In fact, the LCDs replacement LCDs because let's let's face it these LCDs do not last forever five to eight hundred hours sometimes less these LCDs are going to have to be replaced because they are considered a consumable on resin printers they use the exact same screen as the Elgu Mars so for around 25 bucks you can buy a replacement screen the same one for the Creality just swap them out no big deal again if you have if you're a resin printer, and if you're a veteran resin printer, and you want to add to your 3D print farm, 
pick up a Creality. Again, I was pleasantly surprised at how well the Creality LD 002R prints. Again, if you're interested in picking up one of the Creality LD 002Rs, I will leave links in the description below, one out to Amazon, one out to the official Creality site to pick up one of these fantastic printers for around 200 bucks. So I think it's a great deal. And you know, with the holidays approaching, this make a great gift for a spouse, maybe a young one that's interested in doing some cool stuff with 3D printing. So, hey, once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I would be glad to answer any and all questions. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We've got some exciting videos coming down the pipe. I am really, really excited about some of these laser money-making videos that I've got. I've got some things in my head and you guys are going to be totally blown away by some of these laser videos that are coming up. So make sure and check them out. I got new stuff on the resin printing front as well. Some of these new 4K resin printers I've got coming and you guys are not going to want to miss it. And you won't want to miss my dog barking in the background either. So again, thanks again guys and we'll see you again next time on 3D Printing Farm. Bye now. You know, in the world of 3D resin printing, not a lot surprises me. Except this machine. I mean, it is a miniature printing monster. Like this monster right here. All right, let's quit horsing around. Let's get this thing started. Stop it.